going because uh, I feel disturbance in the forest and all that crap. What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Sword and Shield walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, uh, we got a few things situated, you know, with Bead, Opal, uh, some big old explosion in Hammerlock, and then, uh, well, we whooped uh, Hop's candy ass again because he thinks he's going to be the champion and all that crap. So now we're here in route number eight, and yes, we are in sword version, and now we're going to be going to take a look at this place right here. This place is a little bit interesting with uh, with the kind of Pokemon that it does have. Now, I did mention in the last episode, I went through the Poke Jobs. My Pokemon team is leveled up, so now right here in Pokemon Sword, as you can see, the majority of my Pokemon are at level 40. Dumbledore is the only one at level 30. So... We're going to make a quick work of this whole thing right here. We're going to be kicking some butt, taking some names. And let's continue on right here at Route 8. And well, what you can find here are some brand new Pokemon, especially an interesting fighting type Pokemon right here, including, look at that, little Rufflet Pokemon. Yeah, I do not want to get uh, involved with that guy. But make sure to keep your eyes peeled for a lot of items here, guys, because, yes, there will be... Good God! There will be a lot of nice items that you can actually find. Including Pokemon, and uh, well, I already got one of you. So I'm gonna run away right here because I do not want any piece of you. Nothing, no piece of it. So here we have, uh, let's see, here we sit, here, here we have some pretty interesting Pokemon, and on top of that, some trainers. Let's make sure to take care of the trainers first. Now, first is first. Let's go right ahead and switch out our our Pokemon right here. Now, I kind of want to start off with Dumbledore. The goal is to actually level it up and evolve it into its final level. And so here we have, I shall now closely examine the health of your Pokemon. Well, hopefully they're all in perfect health and everything. Joanna would like to battle. And yes, yeah, she's going to be coming out with Rosalia. All right, Rosalia, you're looking all mean and everything. Let's see what ends up happening when Dumbledore takes care of you right here. So let's go with the Psy Shock attack. And well, we're not fast enough just yet. There's that magical leaf. Here comes Psy Shock Attack for the win. And there goes Roselia. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. Alrighty. And everybody's getting levels. That's good. And here comes a Hatrim. So we're going to be switching out right here since Hatrim is basically the same Pokemon I have. Let's go right ahead and use. Let's go ahead and use Baconator right here. It just learned Crunch Attack. So we'll be good to go. All good to go. So here it is, Baconator. How you doing? And here comes Hatrim. Same Pokemon I have. And there's the Anticipation and all that crud. So let's go right ahead and use Crunch Attack to finish this guy off right here. Alrighty, Crunch Attack. Does it. Wins it. Yes. The Baconator. Okay, alrighty. And here's more experience points. And Joanna has been defeated, and she's like, when Pokemon aren't healthy, it drags our mood down, too. Yeah, 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 we all know that. We all know that. Okay, so let us move on right here. Now, in this particular area in Route 8, you will be able to find a specific Pokemon that crawls around from time to time. You just have to, you know, get the timing down. Now, I'm going to try and find some key items right here, like this one. We found ourselves another shiny stone. We don't run out on that, and, well... Actually, I want to see what Pokemon we have right here. Here we have a Haunter, which we already have to. Don't need to take on that guy right there. So, yes, we don't want a piece of that guy right now. And if it's fast... Oh, crap, Baskets, it is faster than me. So, we're forced to battle this guy. Crud. Crud on a Crapsicle Stick. And, yes, we ran away safely. We need to... Okay, so what we need to do is we need to increase... Uh... Oh, we need to heal our Pokemon right here. Dumbledore. Okay, alrighty, and you know what? It wouldn't hurt if we just switch the Pokemon out. So let's go right ahead and you know what? Let's go with our good old buddy Michelangelo. It may be slow, but it's still a it's still a pretty strong Pokemon. And crud. Okay, grab that. Three X defenses. We gotta get away from that by sharp right there. And will we find that po that specific Pokemon around here? Maybe. So we're crawling up this whole thing right here, and, well, we're still looking. Look at that. There is the Pokemon that I'm talking about. Can't remember its name. Hold on. Let me take a look at the, the, the name right here. Let's see. Uh, Sir Chester. 
The name of this Pokemon is Good Gravy. Can't. You know what? We're just gonna have to attack it because yeah. Hold on, just a second. Proceed. Yeah, it's not saying the name of the Pokemon, but you will be able to find it right around here somewhere. So let's go ahead and grab items first, and then battle Pokemon trainers, and then capture some specific Pokemon that we don't have on our team. And some of you guys are asking, are there? Is there gonna be more of a change in your in your team? Maybe. Here we have the TM96 Smart Strike. This is a new one. It is, uh, the user stabs the target with its sharp horn, this attack never misses. Okay, so I could use that for like a Nido King or something if I did have a Nido King here. So like I was saying guys, uh, let's see, some of you guys are asking if I'm going to be making some switches on my team. Maybe, maybe not. Right now I'm, I'm right now I'm currently using the Pokemon I've kind of ran with in Pokemon Shield during my first walkthrough right here. And, you know, like, like I said in previous episodes, I've been wanting to use so many of them right here in this, in this walkthrough. So that's why I came out with both Sword and Shield instead. And right now, it's turning out to be a very good idea. I mean, I, I know it's a lot of work, a little bit more work than usual. But, you know what, I can manage it. I, I mean, look at the walkthroughs that I'm coming out with right now, so think it's manageable and I do not want to get a hit by any of these guys right here this guy oh gravy yeah we're gonna have to battle this guy here we have a Golurk or Golit not Golurk Golet and well Michelangelo has a type advantage like, over this guy so let's go ahead and well it seems that we haven't get, uh, caught this guy yet so if we can catch him no we can't so there we go say goodbye to Golet okay and that's more experience points for all of us. And, well, let's grab that shiny item. Here we found ourselves an elixir. And, yes, there are some more caterpillar-looking like -like Pokemon right here. First is first. Let's grab this item. Try not to jump off this ledge. Three luxury balls. Let's get this guy. So we're crossing them. And here it is, guys. Phalanx. Now, this is a scary Pokemon because it is a fighting-type Pokemon. And wow, it, it, its attack is pretty strong, very, very strong. It's a very unique Pokemon. Almost wanted to use them on my team, and yeah, look at that. It's just, it's not super effective, and yes, it cannot run away. What the hell? No retreat? What the hell is that? And that will special attack and special defense and speed. Oh crap. So it just increased a buttload of its stats right here. So here we go. Reversal, trying to get revenge off of me. And that was super effective, but here we go with a waterfall attack. There we go. Okay, so you know what? Let's go ahead and catch this guy with an Ultra Ball if we do have any Ultra Balls. I don't think we have Ultra Balls. Good gravy. Okay, so let's go to the next best thing. Great Balls right here since, uh, you know, it's at level 40 and everything. Let's go. One, two. Three and it's oh god dang it! Oh jeez. Okay, so no retreat and yeah, it's ready to fight. Holy crap! Holy crap! This guy is going to be yeah, this guy's going to be a little strong. So let's go ahead and go with the timer ball right here. Let's see, do we have a timer ball? Oh, there we are. Timer ball. Let's go. Don't fail me now. Come on, stay in the pokeball. God dang it! Okay, so here comes a reversal attack, and this one is going to really hurt us. So let's go ahead and hit it one more time with the waterfall. And what the hell did it just do? It braced itself. Okay, so that's all, that's all right by me. So here we go. Waterfall does its trick. Throw the timer ball. Come on. Get in the ball. Stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. Come on. Come on. Stay in there. Yes! Alrighty. So there it is. Phalanx has been, uh, well, has been caught. And, well, let's go ahead and take a look at what kind of Pokemon it is right here. So Phalanx looks like a bug type. It's not a bug type. It's a fighting type Pokemon right here. Formation Pokemon. 9 feet, 10 inches, 136 pounds of pure muscle right here. Five of them are troopers, and, the, and, and one is the brass. The brass orders are absolute holy crud. So this is a scary Pokemon to actually have in anybody's team right here. So 
that is that. That is the Pokemon that I wanted to capture right here and show you guys. And, well, let's go ahead and grab this item. We found ourselves a Pixie Plate, which will power up any fire, uh, fairy type moves. There's a Galert. And grab this. And run away from that. But even then, we still can't run away. And look at this. We found ourselves a Sandaconda. The evolved form of. I uh, can't remember what the name of the Pokemon is. Can't remember. Uh. Yeah, I can't remember. <laughs> Memory. Okay, here we go. Which way? Let's go. Trying to run away from that Pokemon. I'm pretty sure, yeah, there's an item right here. We found ourselves a big nugget. And, well, and battle our homegirl right here. So let's go ahead and switch around. Let's go with Dumbledore. Again, we're still trying to get this Pokemon to evolve and stuff. You can compare life to a journey, but in the end of your life isn't the same journey's goal. Okay, alright. Alright, so here we go. Backpacker Barbara would like to battle us, and she is coming out with her Dreepy. Coming out with her Dreepy. This is new! A Dreepy. I'm assuming that's a Dragon type, but then it's also floating like a freaking Ghost type. So, let's go ahead and switch out. I do not want any piece of that, so let's see. Where, uh, you know what? Screw it. We do have the move. Hold on. Have the move. Dazzling Gleam, and here comes a Bite Attack. And that comes out to be very powerful, but here... Oh, good God, it flinched. So let's go again. Here comes a Bite Attack. Oh, jeez. Come on, don't flinch. Here we go. Dazzling Gleam Attack. For the win. Dreepy has been defeated. I never caught this Pokemon before. I don't want to know what it's like. And then here comes a Volibi. So let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go with Blitzkrieg right here. Alrighty, Blitzkrieg. Blitzkrieg bup. Let's go with the Blitzkrieg bup right here. Okay, alrighty, so here we go. Volibi looking all mean. In, 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 in. I can't even describe it, but all just mean. And here we go, discharge attack. That takes care of Volibi. Oh, yeah. What now? What now? And all our Pokemon? They're gonna be taken care of. She's like. Even if you fail, it's not the end. You can stand up and fight back. Yes, I can. Alrighty, okay, so that is that for her. That is uh, maneuver around these guys, and good gravy. These guys are going to like try and attack us everywhere we go. So we got another trainer just waiting for us right there. So let's go and switch it out to Quackor the Foul. And let's see what you have to say. My life concert is open to all, and you'll be attending. Uh no, 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 dude, no, I do not want to. Here we have music- oh, what the hell, is he wearing grills? Oh my god, that is disgusting. He's wearing grills, okay, so never mind. And here we have a new Pokemon, Togedi- Togedimaru. Togedimaru is an electric and fighting- or electric and steel type Pokemon, so we already know what kind of move it can actually do, and I think I already have one of these Pokemon in my PC, because, uh, you know, off-screen I was a, you know, yeah, off screen, I was uh, teaching my Pokemon some new moves and all that stuff, making them go with new jobs, and then, uh, you know, I've been including some Pokemon I caught in the old Shield version, and well, there we go, destroyed Togedemaru, and its Iron Barbs are just hurting me and stuff, and well, look at that, Blitzkrieg grows to level 44, it is learning Overdrive, this right here is a very good move, it's uh... User attacks opposing Pokemon by twanging a guitar or a bass guitar, causing a huge echo and a huge vibration. So, let's see, it has a... It's pretty much the same right here. And, yeah, my Pokemon is a physical, or is a special attacker, so let's see. Poison Jab. You know what, let's go ahead and take away Poison Jab for the time being. Alrighty, so there we go. Poison Jab has been ignored, and well, we defeated music uh, musician Charles, and he's wearing a grill. What the hell, man? Grills. Okay, so you know, I'm one of those uh, I'm one of those people that don't necessarily think grills are pretty awesome or anything. Hell, I I know people who have uh, glued grills to their mouths. Not good at all. And I'm not, you know, I'm not shit talking anybody with grills. It's just that, you know, that's just my personal taste and all that crud. And look at that. We found a King's Rock and a Nugget, which is good. And we're going to be attacked by these worm ass Pokemon right here. So we just got to make sure to stay away from this guy. Running, running, running. Come on. Come on. In formation. 
There we go. Okay, so let's see. Nothing right there. We're going to climb up here. And before we go into the next route, there is a little bit of something right here. And we can't necessarily pass this guy until he moves along. So let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go with Michelangelo and try and beat this guy down. So there we go. Big old Pokemon. Here we have a Crustle. And he's looking a little mean. All right, Crystal, bring it, Waterfall. Come on, Waterfall does, it. oh, nearly does the trick, so Crystal is still alive right here, so let's go ahead and do another Waterfall attack for the win. And there we go, no more Crystal. Yeah, buddy, I'm happy about that. And well, look at this, we're leveling up our Pokemon Quackor grows to another level, which is great, awesome. And, well, it enables us to move right here and grab this item. The TM-43 Brick Break, which is very nice for all of us. And, well, it can actually teach more of our Pokemon some pretty good fighting type moves. A very effective fighting type move. And, well, we got a couple right here. So we kind of need to switch out our Pokemon. Let's go with Optimus and have Dumbledore right there. But before we do anything, let's go ahead and just uh, heal up Dumbledore. Let's go, Dumbledore. You will be a very powerful Pokemon very, very soon, so let's get it. Succeeding as a businessman depends on communication. I get along perfectly with my Pokemon. I'm super cute, but I'm carrying super duper strong Pokemon. Super duper strong Pokemon. That's cool. That's pretty awesome. So here we have colleagues Jordan and Allison, and well, they're just focusing on their phones. And they're coming out with some pretty good Pokemon right here. Holy crud. Some ground type Pokemon. This is going to get interesting right here. So let's go right ahead and let's see. Drum beating. Wood hammer. Actually, let's just. Uh, we're saving. Actually, yeah. Let's save wood hammer for. Actually, hold on. I do remember extra drill is a steel type Pokemon. So let's go with Hippo Hippodon and switch our Pokemon to. Let's go switch our Pokemon to Michelangelo. Risk getting hit and everything, so here we go. Michelangelo, looking like the beast that he is. And, well, here comes a rock slide, a double hit for both of us right here. Okay, alrighty, here comes a drums of beating. Look at this guy. Drums of beating, whipping the crud out of Hippodon. Hippodon, that's how you say it. And, well, more experience points. Everybody gains a level, including Double Door. Michelangelo as well, and well, let's see, what else have we got? Another sandstorm hitting us. Not gonna hit our good old buddy, uh, which I'm gonna call it, uh, you know, Michelangelo and all that crud. So let's go with this. Oh crud, that's gonna kill one of my Pokemon. So let's go with a super press right here, and let's go with that to that guy right there. That way we can get both hits. And here comes a fake out attack, and there comes a drill. Oh crud, I, you know what? Should have young. Good God. Okay, so here we go. Waterfall. Avoid. Oh, wow. Okay, so we don't hit anybody as of right now. Bulldoze attack. And let's switch out our Pokemon. And unfortunately for us. Yeah, Quackor is not a flying type Pokemon, so it will not get any of the, the. You know, the immunity that it should be getting. So here we go. Quackor getting out there. And Excadrill. Coming with a dig attack. Nearly beats Quackor. Here comes. Oh, damn. And it kills Quackor, so. Yeah, thanks a lot, buddy. And, yes, it hits both Berserker and Excadrill. So these guys are, you know. Yeah, they got some good Pokemon right here. And here comes a taunt attack. Oh, crud. Okay, so. Now we're playing. Now we're playing. Okay, so. We're getting hits. Actually, Optimus is out. Let's go with Baconator. Doing with Baconator. Okay. Let's go. Body press to this guy. And, well, let's go with a Flame Wheel to Excadrill right here. Let's finish these guys off. Body press. Finishes off Berserker. Say goodbye to Berserker. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Everybody's getting points. And here comes a Rock Slide. 
And of course, Baconator is weak to rock type Pokemon, but guess what? We got a Flame Wheel. Get this Flame Wheel. Say goodbye to Excadrill. Now, we still got one more Pokemon to go. What you want to call it? Jordan was lucky enough to not get both his Pokemon fainted early. And so, he's going to be coming out with, let's see, well, we're getting hurt. Lucario, holy crud. Now, this is a Pokemon I want. This is a Pokemon I'm going to be beating right now. And here we go, Flame Wheel for the win. Double attack, body press, body slam this guy. Say goodbye to Lucario. Yeah, buddy. Okay, alrighty, so everybody's getting levels except for the ones that fainted, and yeah. He's like, I'll sell this victory to you. I'm short on pocket change. Oh, wow. Your Pokemon are strong and cute! They are. They, 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 they are. They really are. Okay, so let's see. I, Yeah, we're pretty much done with this episode right here, guys. But before we go anywhere, let's grab this. We found ourselves a terrain extender. This right here is an item to, to be held by a Pokemon. It extends the duration of the terrain caused by the holder's move or ability. So this, this is actually something that you can actually use during a Dynamax battle right here. So now, what we're going to do is in the next episode, we will be going straight to the next route, which is all icy and all, all that crud. It's still Route 8, I believe. I don't know. It is. It's still Route 8, but it's kind of like a precursor to the next two gym battles that we're going to be doing all in the same episode. So, again, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.